<laughs> I'm just teaching myself. It's all fun. What good is it if it doesn't have any fun? It's me and my tree. The tree we sang. Or, you know, joining in. Shout out to my my oh uh, my partner. Sound like a drum. So, no matter where I am, you have a guitar, I'm gonna ask to play it. The reason I really love guitars is because I was told through the grapevine that the guitar, shout out to the amazing artists that created this, shout out to the grass that's collaborated with me, shout out to the trees, shout out to the all. But anywho, the guitar, check that artwork out though, the guitar, the heart, the strings are said to be connected to the heart. Like the heart strings, we are said to have heart strings, you know, that connects us to others. That's an invisible string that connects us to our hearts of others. And more so, I was even told that some people can pass from heartbreak. And and their heartstrings could like be broken. So what I will say, what I actually love about the guitar, which I know that for those that do not know, I love music. <sighs> I am a muse, <laughs> but more so, um, more so uh, everything carries a vibration. So it's like, I just have a natural, synchronicity or connection to the guitar and it has helped me heal my heart if that makes a lot of sense i know those that create music can definitely comprehend and connect with this but um i feel like people make their greatest um return from growth or 
rise from the ashes like a phoenix or emerge from the darkness um, from their greatest pains. And this is why I feel just natural. Some people use a little things that their fingers or whatever. Some people use it naturally, but my whole message to you all is that learn something new. Something to get you to the day, get you through the day, you know. Um, do what comes easy to you. Do what comes natural. Do what comes that whatever gets you through the day. Um, and most importantly, remember to breathe through it all. It's really, truthfully, there's no right or wrong way to do to do things. It's just like a baby learning to crawl, a baby learning to um, stand up on its own. In due time, we all need the help of others. We all play a vital role. <laughs> and more so, um, just remember who you are and your role in, in this grand scheme of everything. Like what 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 will this 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 concert or all of this be without the birds in the background? Everything. That's how you got to remain. Can you still play your song? Can you still be who you are in the midst of the storm? Can you be the eye of the storm no matter what's happening around you? It's beyond your control. Can you still play your song for the world to see no matter how they judge you? No one really cares but you. No one really is going to care more than you. Now you will have others that will be aligned on your path. But can you remain the eye of the storm? Can you stay focused? Can you stay centered? Can you stay... Stand in love. A one, a two, a one, two, one, two. Okay, one, one, one. one. Shout out to my birds. Shout out to the ancestors just finding their way up my leg on the guitar everywhere. Yeah, I wanna smash you. You felt my foot then. <sighs> so love on yourself today. Do something for yourself. Take a walk. Go on a little mini vacation. Travel. <sighs> but um if you feel led, let your heart lead. The guitar has helped me a lot. Music has helped me a lot. It helps me stay balanced. So not all music, the right music. And when I mean the right music, I mean the music that makes you feel at ease, makes you feel something again, makes you feel worthy of existence, makes you feel valued. Like I said, the guitar has helped me a lot because it reminds me of the heartstrings. And I can see why a lot of things can become very addictive. 
we all have our muse. We all have certain addictions. I've been speaking with a lot of elders about things that um, people can have addiction to drugs, sex. People can have addiction to food. People can have addiction to just so many things that doesn't really have value. So and those things that those people may value, they may value. Just because we may not value it doesn't mean that they may not see it differently than we do. But um, for you all, just stay motivated. Be intentional in, what all, in all things that you do. And keep sharing and shining bright. I know a lot of you know haven't heard or seen me post a video. It's gonna be here and there, and it's solely because a lot of which what we're coming into, what a lot of us, not everyone, but I know solely what I'm coming into. I'll speak on my behalf, but also. Um, I'm just learning to nurture my soul after 33 years of being here on what they call earth, on this earthly plane. But it's so important to stay balanced and stay centered in these moments, be in nature, um, hug a tree. No, I'm just kidding. But just the, the serenity and quietness of not all the noise in the city. Or, you know, being so much of, if I'm interrupted, it's not so much of an interruption if I know that it's something natural like nature. The bees, uh, the, 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 um, the dragonflies or whatever, wherever I'm at, it's not so much of an interruption. It's so much of an intervention. That's how I'm like looking at things now. And that's, that's the beauty. I'm starting to see the beauty in a lot of things is that uh, everyone sent on my path or sent for a reason. Um, whether it be I'm a lesson for them, they're a lesson for me, but in all of it, it's a lesson for all. So uh, I'm gonna continue to play my heartstrings. A lot of us are healing from so many things but just know that you're not the only one. You are loved, you are beautiful, you are divine. And all this shit ain't always, you know, sweet. You know, it's, it, it has its rough patches, it has its, when I look at nature, I, I'm, I'm, as I'm reminded of the sun and everything, the beauty of it, I'm like, you know, gotta remember the storm that brought forth the rain to make everything grow. So the polarity and all of it is worth it, but also just creation in itself. And uh, just, just here, uh, here in these moments, I haven't had many words because, you know, I've just been solely focused inwardly and just on my journey and moving forward and learning truthfully now how to be there for me, how to show up for myself. And when I show up and take care of myself and love on myself, embrace myself and embrace the all, a part of me doing exactly and being my authentic self is simply helping everyone in some way, shape or form. No matter what, stay rooted like this tree. Stay rooted down. It ain't got 10 toes, but you know what I'm saying. Stay true to you. Stay true to your path. Honor your path. Um, there's a lot of distractions, but as long as you stay true to you, it'll all be revealed. Um, and I know it's easy said than done, but I realize that uh, all I have to offer is inspiration. And all I have to give myself and to continue and to be consistent. Because when I self-reflect and look at everything, it's inspiration. Even others inspire me, no matter whether I'm liked, accepted, embraced, it doesn't matter. 
they're all still an inspiration. Take care of yourself. Peace. Shalom.